Hello guys, so I found myself um, thinking about friendships the other day and because I uh, I was thinking about you know about 20 friends that um, are really close to me or have been really close to me and I haven't heard from them I haven't talked to them I haven't you know I don't know what happened to them so I started thinking about friendships and one of the things that that I started thinking about is what the Bible talks, uh, what the Bible says about friendships. And, and let me start by saying that um, Proverbs chapter 27, verse 5 and 6 talks about open rebuke is better than secret love. And that's why you hear the saying, real friends stab you in the front, not in the back. Um, also, it says that faithful are the wounds of a friend. Um, you know, when, when a friend is suffering, when a friend is, is down, you know, you often think of them, you often pray with them, you often talk to them, you, you, you're there for them, right? And uh, so I kept th thinking deeper and deeper about friends and, and how I have been as a friend and how they have been as a friend to me and to other people. And uh, so I kept reading the Word of God and I, I also found this, this nice verse in Proverbs chapter 18, verse 24 that says, a man that hath friends must show himself friendly. And I kept thinking of my friends that haven't contacted me, me, haven't kept in touch. And I said, what kind of friendship are they? What kind of friends are they? And, and I started to think in this word, lousy. Lousy friend. And I, I've been guilty of being a lousy friend. Uh, but I remember that at a young age, I, I took that word of friendship and I elevated it as brotherhood, as sisterhood. And, and um, and it's very disappointing time uh, at times because you think about your friends and you think, you know, wow, I want to share something with them. Oh, I want to, you know, uh, be with them. I want to go and do something with them. But they maybe have distanced themselves. Maybe they have got married. Maybe they have kids. Maybe they're somewhere far. Maybe they have a new girlfriend or something like that. But the Word of God says, a man that has friends must show himself friendly. Very important. And there is a friend that stick it closer than a brother. It's very important and uh, you know one of the most important things that I found in being a good friend is what Jesus said Jesus said in chapter 15 verse 12 through 17 this is my commandment that ye love one another as I have loved you because greater love hath no man than this that ye lay down his life for his friends ye you are my friends that's what he, Jesus said you are my friends uh, and he was talking to his disciples and, and, and the people that were there, but he's referring to us as well. And ye do whatsoever I command. And he finishes that with verse 17 saying, These things I command you, these things I command you, that ye love one another. Very powerful words. That ye love one another, that you love one another. Are you a lousy friend? Have you been a lousy friend? Do you really love your friends? If so, think of friends that you haven't kept in touch with. Think of friends that you consider at the top uh, of your list. Think of friends that you want to call. Two days ago, I called a whole bunch of friends. I emailed a whole bunch of friends because I always want to know how they're doing, genuinely. Not those type of people that walk into a store and say, how are you doing today? No, genuinely, how are you? And be a real friend, not a lousy friend. Like Jesus is our friend. He's not a lousy friend. He's a great friend. May God bless you.